today's video, we are going to see how to manage multiple versions of Play Store apps using our MDM solution. Managing apps is one of the most important tasks for an IT admin, right from installing apps to updating them. Using Mobile Device Manager Plus, you can add multiple versions of Play Store apps to the app repository and then test these pre-released versions before you deploy them to the production environment. To manage multiple versions of Play Store apps, here are the prerequisites. Android for Work, also known as Manage Google Play, should be configured. Android for Work supports the installation of Play Store apps without any user intervention. Now let's take a look at how to manage multiple versions of the Zoho CRM app on a device. First, on the Mobile Device Manager Plus console, navigate to Device Management and then click on App Repository. All the apps added to the App Repository will be listed in this view. The app versions released by app developers will be synced from the Google Play Store once every 24 hours. Click on the Zoho CRM app to view a list of all the versions released by the app developer. Now select the version from the drop-down. For example, I am selecting version 1.3. Now click on Distribute. Select the required group or device to which the app needs to be distributed. Choose Silent Installation and then click on Select. This ensures that the app gets installed silently on the devices. The selected app with version 1.2 gets installed silently on the devices. Here are a few points to remember. Whenever the app developer promotes a track to a higher version, the lower versions stored in the app repository will be disabled. For example, if the version 1.1 is promoted to 1.2, the devices with version 1.1 of the app will be automatically updated to the latest version, that is 1.2. The app developer can approve the pre-released app version to make it the production app. Once an app is approved, the devices with lower versions will be updated to the approved version automatically. The approved version can be identified by the green icon present next to it. Here, 1.1 is the production version. The last point, if the app developer has paused or stopped the track, then the app version will no longer be able to to be distributed until the app developer resumes the track. Here, the version 1.4 is stopped. However, the stopped app version will be present on the distributed devices.